Hey guys, so today I thought I would come on here and just film a really chill get ready with me but I thought I would theme it a little bit and try to use products that I haven't used in ages. As you guys know, I have been doing a whole lot of like declutter videos lately and going through my collection I'm always like, oh I've had this in my collection for so long but I really don't want to part with it yet. I'm always saying stuff like that and I'm like, okay well I need to use these things. So today I'm going to do my makeup using old favorites or just things I haven't used in a long time, like I said. I am jet lagged. I am tired AF. I have a great big coffee right here. It's like 2.30 in the afternoon and I'm still tired so please don't mind me. Hopefully we'll get a little bit crazy from the caffeine halfway through this video as you know that sometimes happens. <laughs> I've also got like a fresh fake tan on. Okay straight away I know exactly what primer I'm going to use. I'm going to be using the Stila One Step Correct. I believe I did still see this on Ulta recently so I'm going to apply this just all over my skin. I love this primer because it brightens your skin and it also helps to slightly color correct because it's got a little bit of green in there. And also, it's just so hydrating. It's just such a nice formula. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. I have not used this in the longest time. Can you guys remember on my YouTube channel probably like two years ago when this was like my holy grail? Comment below if you remember. Like I think this product just even looks so nice alone. It just helps to like even everything out and make you glow. It's such a good one. I'm also just going to spritz a little bit of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water all over my skin just for some extra hydration. I haven't used this in ages. I kind of like used up a whole bottle like once again a year or two ago and then just never opened my new one. I asked you guys on Twitter what kind of look I should do today and so many people were saying bright looks or like a navy blue eye and I laughed because back when I first started my YouTube channel, way back when I used to go clubbing all the time, I used to always do the navy smoky eye. I don't know. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Let's just see what happens. As far as foundation goes, like most of these I have used recently so I'm just going to take a random one that I haven't used super 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 recently. This one is the LA Girl Pro Matte HD High Definition Long Wear Matte Foundation in the shade Beige. Hopefully it's... Mm, that's not going to be dark enough. I wonder if I add a couple of my Cover Effects drops. This is in the shade G30. I used to use these all the time way back. Is that any darker? No, not really. It looks like we're going to be bronzing a lot today. My face hand went so dark and I'm not quite sure why today. This is only one layer. It's so random. Like it always goes dark but not like this dark. So I have no idea what's like going on. I don't know. And this is just a flawless finish sponge. Oh my gosh, it's so hot in here. But I feel like if I turn on the aircon, it's going to be so loud. <sighs> the struggle. I'm like loving this warmer weather. I've just been in LA as well where of course it's sunny like all the time. And... That was next level. It's like fall over there, isn't it? And it was seriously so hot, but it was nice. Like a nice change from all of the rain <laughs> here in Palmerston North. I think I need to get rid of those like, custom cover drops because they are cakey. Like they're really thick compared to what they're supposed to be. The consistency is supposed to be a lot runnier, but yeah. I have definitely owned them for a long time. It looks even more pale on camera. It's actually not that bad in real life, but wow. Concealer. Yeah, concealer. Yep. Do I need it? Meh. Oh my gosh, my collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade 1. This stuff is so legit. It's not even open. I obviously used up my previous one. Okay, so I'm going to put some of this on my eyes even though I really don't need to. Today's look is going to be cakey. Throwback. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like unreal coverage though. Coffee break. Honestly, I love these cups so much. Where can I buy them? I always get, well not always, but I've been sent a few in PR, like this one from the barn. And I don't know where I can actually buy my own because I want more. And I want to buy Hamish one, but all of mine are pink. And he doesn't really like pink. <laughs> um, if you live in New Zealand, you know what this is. Basically, our milkshakes come in these cups. Except this is a proper cup. Like it's like a thick dishwasher safe plastic. It's so cool. I got them in Wellington years ago. I can't even remember where from. Now, I have no idea why the inner parts of my... Oh, why does this keep happening? Why the inner parts of my waterline is so red. But they really are. And they've been so red for the last couple of days. I'm on my period. I don't know if that's got anything to do with it. I've never really had this problem before. Maybe my eyes are super dry from all the travel or something. But anyway, I just put some concealer over the top of the redness to try and cover it a little. Now let's quickly powder because I look like a freaking Casper the Ghost or something. I might glow up my skin a little bit. I'm going to use this Wonder Powder by Makeup Store. I've not used this in so freaking long. This is in the shade Sahara. And it's like a loose powder but it's quite glowy. I'm just going to put a really small amount of this. Just like... <laughs> Did you hear that? 
just all over my face to set everything down. It goes on like super shimmery-ish, so I just like buff it out until it's like a dewy finish. Oh my god, I forgot how good this is. I've had this in my collection for years also. Now I feel like I have to go straight back in with bronzer just to really darken up my skin a little bit because this is not okay. Oh my gosh, I've got the shade Gobi as well. I kind of feel like I've used this recently-ish, but I can't remember when, so it's kind of cheating. But it's like a loose bronzer shade of the previous powder I used. It's like the same kind of formula, but it's not as shimmery. I've just like dunked my big fluffy powder brush. This is a called a powder brush, by the way. People always ask me what I use for my all over face powder. It's the XO Beauty powder brush. Um, it also is the same as the black one that I sometimes use. Anyways, I'm getting off track because I'm so tired. But I'm just going to buff this on my cheeks and like kind of bring it around the rest of my face but focusing most of the product there. Okay, I definitely need more than that. My skin looks so heavenly. Oh, my hair's everywhere. <laughs> so on this last weekend when I got back from, um, you know, LA and everything, I'm so like dumb, right? I feel so dumb. I'm also starting keto and I just feel so stupid. Has anyone else out there ever tried it? Let's just respect everyone's dietary choices right now because keto is really different for me. <laughs> um, if you watch my vlog channel, you know it's like completely different to how I've eaten in the past. So it's strange. I don't know. I'm just trying it out because of my mental health and also my thyroid and just the fact that nothing else works for me to help drop much weight at all. So I'm really curious to see if this works for me. Because I've seen some studies saying that keto diets, which is a high natural fat diet, can help with um, your thyroid health. And my thyroid is jacked up, so I'm really keen to see if it'll help. So I'm going to give it a good try for a couple of months and just really put my all into it and see. Anyway, it's making me feel really stupid because it's just the beginning and everything. It's really confusing. Anyway, on the weekend, I've literally... By the way, I'm just going to start using a little bit of Global Glow now. It's just to bronze up more like my cheek area, like just here. I played it so much COD. We've been playing a lot of COD Blackout. And it's so much fun. I don't know if any of you guys play stuff like that. Comment below if you love, you know, games like COD. Um, this is the first time I've ever gotten into it. I've been playing a lot of Fortnite previously, but I'm obsessed with COD Blackheart. I like it, I think, better than Fortnite because there's no building. It's more tactical and strategic. And I've been streaming it as well. I might even stream later if I'm not feeling super stupid. <laughs> My skin now matches a lot better. On camera, I feel like it's bouncing back the light from my ring light. So it looks like my chest is still a lot darker than my face. But in real life, I swear to you, it's like perfect. A perfect match. And it looks glowy as heck and I am here for it. I love glowy skin. Okay, the coffee is starting to kick in. This is good news. I don't know why I didn't have one sooner. I've just been like sitting on my computer all day just doing editing for you guys. Editing vlogs and beauty videos and stuff. And I was like, I feel like filming... And here I am, and I don't know why I did not have a coffee earlier. I'm so stupid. See, I'm, I'm just stupid right now. I don't know what's happening to me. Let's do brows, and I don't actually think I'll really have much that's like a super old favorite because I recently decluttered my brow collection. I'm too cold now. Thank you, Aircon. I recently decluttered my brow collection. If you watch my declutter videos, you know, and I kind of just like got rid of most things that aren't my benefit products because they're my new favorite. But in terms of stuff I haven't used in ages, I don't know. I guess I do have this stuff, the Makeup Forever Brow Liner that I haven't used in a while. So let's put this on. This isn't like an old favorite, aka like a favorite from years ago or anything. It's just like something that I haven't used in ages since I bought it. But I do really like it. It's so good. This is the shade at 20, by the way. I think I usually don't use it because of the color. Like it is quite cool. Like not even just like neutral. It's like super cool toned. So it's just quite intense on me. My skin is peeling off right here. What is, oh, I'm falling apart guys, I don't know what's happening. So I'm gonna just line my eyebrows and kind of fill them in. This gives you a very sharp eyebrow look. It's almost like a little eyeliner. I don't know, I kind of want to buy another one in a different color because I do like it. I just think it takes a bit longer than my normal eyebrows, like my benefit brows and stuff. That's why I don't reach for it a lot, plus the color like I said, but yeah, it's really good. Do you mean, like, is that how I normally do my eyebrows? I can't remember. See the color is like, just a bit too cool like it's still a nice color it's just different like i'd prefer something a little bit more neutral but i will put on a brown mascara on top to kind of balance it out i don't have any that i haven't used recently so i'll just pick one do you remember back in the day when i used to always use the elf eyebrow duo 
holy crap that was when I was getting into brows and my brows just got thicker and thicker because I was like just like starting to fill them in and like seriously in a few of my videos back then you look at some of the like I swear my eyebrows are this thick and I look back and I'm just thinking Shannon what the fuck and it makes me laugh because people would come and be like Shannon you're going a bit too heavy on the eyebrows and I'd be like um mind your own business but they were right <laughs> whatever happened to LMFAO I'm listening to that song yes right now such a banger what happened where did they go I'm just going to use this, which is not new, but it's my little Benefit Brow Contour Bro. I love this. I've been using it so often, but I'm just using the concealer side because I kind of messed up. I always reach for this product. I forgot to contour. What is happening? I can't even think for myself. Anyway, I'm going to use one of my less used favorite brow products because um, I always use Gimme Brow but I love this one so much. This is in the shade Neutral Brown. I think it's called The Stick Fell Off by Urban Decay. It's the brow team. It's legit. It's super good. I just like a brow a little bit more but this color is like a little bit darker and warmer so I'm just putting it on with this eyebrow product underneath and my roots right now like I know I need to get my hair done Ugh, so badly but I'm just so tired I can't be bothered so I'm just rocking this root look which isn't necessarily great because I swear it just makes my hair look dirty all the time so yeah I don't really like my brows as much as normal today that is so dark that wasn't a good decision I look like grouch it's too late now we've got to commit now I'm gonna have to do some really bold eye makeup to really make sure that yeah just <sighs> I don't know what's happening this is why I wasn't going to film today but I just wanted to. But I knew this would happen. By the way, I'm loving this perfume. I don't even know why I'm putting it on. I'm not even going anywhere. I'm just like in my room. This is Daisy Love, Marc Jacobs. Wow, it smells so good. Is this different to, I'm assuming it's different to the original Daisy. Cause I wasn't like massively sold on Daisy, but this Daisy Love, if it is different, imagine if it was the same thing, I don't even know. It's really good. So for the eye makeup, okay, I'm feeling alive. Let's do this. I'm ready to conquer my eyeliner and stuff. We're gonna use Painterly Paint Pot. An old favorite. Oh, look at, it's a bit dried out. Look at this little sir. Wow, you're doing well. I'm going to use it with one of my vegan concealer brushes. This is from the um, Vegan 2.0 set, which has just come out recently. So make sure you check it out if you do like my brushes. And if you haven't tried my brushes yet, you should, because no, like honestly, obviously I'm gonna say this because they're my own brushes, but seriously, honestly, say it on my Nana's grave, like they're the best brushes I've ever used. I've made them exactly how I want them and they are my dream. And if you do normally like my recommendations, I think you'll like them a lot. They're so good. So I'm just using this brush to blend out my eye primer. Obviously you can use it for concealer and stuff as well, or even eyeshadow. Okay, two things I have not used in a long time. Number one, Chi Chi palettes. I love Chi Chi eyeshadows. They are so good. This is the Summer palette and I need to sneeze so bad. <laughs> Oh, there it is. My headband came off too. Uh, this palette looks so pretty. I just want to use some of the darker browns for like a transition shade because you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a blow smoky eye. Using this, which I've not used in the longest time either, this Makeup Forever Palette 15 Artist Shadow Palette. Looks like this. I've barely actually touched it, but I don't know. I, I, I haven't used it in a long, 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 long time and it's got such a cool blow in it. So let's give it a go. I think it's the perfume on my nose that's making me sneeze. Oh, I love this cup. If anyone has seen these recently, can you please let me know where to get them? Because I really want to get another set. I've only got four of them and I want more so I can take some out to my beach house. Because they're so cool. I'm first going to take this flat eye brush by Xo Beauty. These are really good for priming too and concealing and stuff. I'm going to use it with uh, this color just here in my crease. Just because I need like a nice transition shade to like blend the blue into. I'm putting this all the way across my crease too. Such a perfect color. You can't even see. I feel like I need to zoom you in a bit. I feel like the colors are a little bit nicer in real life. I feel like I'm getting. Can I try and change something? Oh, that's a bit more realistic, this coloring, for sure. Now you can see how freaking tan my face is. <laughs> I wish I could naturally tan this dark again. I used to be able to, but now I basically avoid the sun at all costs. I suppose it's good though, because you know, sun damage and things. But you know, I do love lying out in the sun, I just never have time anymore. And then when I do, I'm like, oh, you know what would be a great idea is to sunbathe 
and I get out there and I lie there for 10 minutes and I'm so hot and sweaty I'm over it I'm just like okay this isn't as good as it's cracked up to be but in my mind it's like so nice but it's actually not it's like actually awful I'd rather be inside with the aircon so even though this is a flat brush I just love the way it blends in eyeshadows it really makes like a very blown out blend oh my god my stomach just rumbled so loud I hope you did not hear that <laughs> this is like the perfect transition shade honestly Chi Chi eyeshadows are so good so 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 good okay I have no idea what I'm gonna do on the bottom lash line just yet so I'm gonna stop right there and just go straight in with the blue which it looks like I've never even tried before so I'm excited so I'm using this little Anastasia Beverly Hills brush because it's right in front of me do I need like a base I don't know. It was so pretty. I'm gonna put this all over the lid. Then I think I might press one of the other colors into the very center just to create like a little bit of a halo or like duochrome effect. So I'm putting this all the way up into the crease and I'm gonna blend it with the brown later and all the way to the outer corner. That is just such a beautiful blue. I'm obsessed. And yes, people give me so much shit for saying obsessed about everything, but that's just my keyword. People are like, you do know what the word obsessed means, right, Shannon? And I'm like, yeah, it's just my vocab. Leave me alone. Don't bully me. Am I getting any fallout? Tiny bit. I'm not surprised because I'm really packing this on right now. Now I'm going to go back in with that same colour on a crease blender brush this time. I'm just going to softly blow that out. It's not really working. I think I need a blue. It's like so bright that it's going to be a pain in the ass to do this with. This is cheating. It's not an old favourite but I love this palette so much. I used it in a drugstore full face tutorial recently I'll link it below it's like one of my favorite spring looks um check the down bar for that but anyways I'm going to use this color just here it's a little bit shimmery but it's a little bit more dull than the lid a little bit the, 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 I can't talk than the lid color this is by Rimmel did I say that um but I'm just going to use this okay so I've pretty much got that all blended my blending is a little bit rough today but I'm tired so I'm gonna blame it on that I might even add like another little bit of like a dark blue or something into my crease I'm even tempted oh my gosh I'm just looking at these two these look so freaking similar look the Chi Chi and the um, Rimmel I mean this is the Chi Chi that's the Rimmel it's like almost the same packaging just looking at this palette and there's that beautiful deep forest I'm just obsessed with all of these shades at the beginning but this beautiful deep for it. I'm cheating because this is not an old. But you know what? I'm going to use it anyway. I'm going to use this blender brush from my Vegan Entrepreneur set. And the green. Just a tiny amount. And I'm just going to see what happens if I just like add a little bit to my crease. Do we love it or hate it? It's very peacocky. I'm just completely experimenting at this point. Actually, someone today, I uploaded a video today. It was my Sephora Get Ready With Me. Um, I'll link it below also. It's really cool. It's like done in a hotel room. Something a bit different from my channel. I saw someone coming and say, please do like a blue smoky eye or like blue eye makeup or something. <laughs> well done. Double whammy. That's as good as we're getting today because I kind of screwed up my crease a little bit. But it's fine. We're going to move along. I'm going to take... <clears throat> what is going on? I'm going to take this shade just here. Just on that Anastasia brush again. Just a little and pack that right in the center of my eyelid. Just for a little bit of tonal variation. It was so subtle, but I like it. It just helped to kind of make it pop a little bit more. I feel like I lost some of the intensity when I was blending the crease. I'm going to take that same color underneath. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that forest green once more. And just do a little bit under there also. I mean, it's interesting. I've got fallout again though. Okay, and now we just need to highlight our bra bone and in a corner as well. Can't forget about him. I'm just going to use this color from this palette here. I'm just using that concealer brush I used right in the beginning of the video. It's nice under the brow bone because you can get it really nice and sharp. Because it's got a really sharp edge. It's good for like carving out your eyebrows too if you like to do that. I feel like I need a really bright blue eyeliner on my waterline to really tie it together. This one is called Chaos by Urban Decay. I feel like this will be good. I feel like being outrageous. So I'm going to put a little bit of this freak color on my inner corner. Which I just swatched it on my hand and this color is freaking cool man. I don't really know how much to do, but all I know is I want to use it. I might just go over the top of that blue on the inner corner a little. I'm obsessed with this color. Now let's contour. What did I even used to use to contour? Like, I can't remember. I mean, my Makeup Revolution palette, but I always use that still. I'm just going to use something I haven't used in ages then. Okay, so this here, the Chi Chi Highlighting and Contouring palette is so good. It's just quite bulky, but I can sit them in my drawer. I'm using this one in the corner to contour. 
just with a bronzer brush. And then for a blush I'm using ages, I've got all of these single ones I never reach for anymore. It's Bliss Makeup Geek. So pretty. I'm using it on a medium face brush. I'm just going to buff it onto my cheek. This is kind of like one of those like naked blush colors where it's just like a soft touch of peach. Doesn't look like you've got blush on. And to highlight, I know exactly what I need to use. Mary Luminizer. I haven't used this in so freaking long and this was like one of my holy... Holy Grails. I'm going to use it on my face detail brush, which is new at XO Beauty also. It's like the perfect brush for highlighting. It packs it on. Like I said, today we are going for a cake face look. So I'm going ham and heavy. I've not used this in a while. My matte um, liquid eyeliner by NYX. Such good stuff. Definitely an old favorite. It's like drying out, I'm pretty sure. But we'll give it our best shot. Can I just say, like, how satisfying is that? Sorry if you can hear the aircon, it got really hot again. I don't know. I'm gonna use Better Than Sex today. An old favorite, but not like super old, but I didn't want to open a whole new mascara just for this. Um, but this is like one of my favorites. I haven't used it in so long, but it's in my drawer. I hope it's not dried out. I think it's not. Am I good? I don't know. I love this mascara though. It's so like moussey and thick. Definitely gives me a lot of like separation as well. I'm gonna use falsies anyways. I want nice dark lower lashes. I am obsessed with that inner corner. Like, you guys don't even understand. I'm gonna use my exotic lashes today because this look is so crazy. Okay, the lashes are stuck on. Whoops. There goes one of them. Bold Dramatic AF eyelashes to match the bold dramatic AF face and eyes. <laughs> look how like cakey I look. I kind of love it. Okay, now for the lips I've got to use something that I haven't used in ages. I haven't used any of my Mellow liquid lip paints in so long and I love these. I don't know what kind of colour. Like pinkier or nude. Like a cooler. Nah, not cool. I feel like I'll look like a zombie if I wear that one. I might kind of mix these two together. I've got Tehran and Milan. Okay, this is how Tehran looks by itself. I just want to add like a little bit of pink. So I've got Milan here. I'm just mixing them together. Do we think that that suits the eye makeup or nah? I feel like on camera I look really dull, but in real life my skin looks very warm. I'm just going to use a little bit of this highlighter as well, because I really want just a little bit more gold on my cheeks, I think. This is Rush by La Masca. This is so pretty. Just layering it. So I'm going to go off and stream soon. If you guys don't follow my streams, download the Twitch app or else you can just view it on the computer. Check out twitch.com slash shanixo. I'll link it below as well. It's the same username as my YouTube channel. And every time I go live, you should be notificated if you have no notificated. Did I just say notificated? Every time I go live, if you have the app, you should be notified. I don't know what is happening to my brain, but... Hopefully it passes. <laughs> and on my Twitch, I do live streams of like my makeup and also gaming. So, you know, you can just kind of pick and choose what you like to watch. If you're not into gaming, that's totally fair enough. Like not many of my viewers seem to be, but I love it. And if any of you guys love gaming as well and love watching COD and Fortnite and stuff, then feel free to come over and join the chat. So yeah, that is my look today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun using some products I haven't used in a long time. Let me know if you enjoyed it and I'll do. Is that an eyelash? God, how did they get there? Anyway, um, yeah, let me know if you want to see more videos using products I haven't used in ages. Like, I was even thinking, like, the original Naked palette and stuff like that. I don't know. It's just a bit of fun. Thank you so much for joining and don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to click on notifications and subscribe as always. And yeah, hopefully I'll chat you guys again next time. Well, of course, I will. I'll talk to you soon. I'm just, oh, wow. I don't know what's wrong with me. Bye. <laughs>